Okay, so now we're going to do this with keys. I'm going to do the same thing, just starting out. I'm going to get have a line that's in the middle of my screen that I can draw with. And we already know that uh, what's going to happen here, I can draw, but up there. All right, so now mouse press. We're going to say if key pressed. So if key pressed. And give uh, those brackets go in front and before. So now when I press play, I use a key. And right now, I can use any key. It doesn't matter because I haven't specified. So let's specify. So because all of those keys can represent or give us different brushes. So I'm keeping my if key pressed, uh, that's staying wrapped around everything. I'm going inside it and I'm gonna wrap this line now around something more specific. I'm gonna say if key two equal signs and then in single quotes the letter a open curly bracket and then after my line closing curly bracket so again we have three closing brackets at the end if we did this correctly the last one's for the draw the second to last one is for the if key pressed and then the third to last one is the closing bracket for this if key equals a so now when I'm drawing on letter A. If I try other letters, I don't get anything. It has to be on A. Other key. So if key equals, in single quotes, S, I'm going to get a circle, for example, that I can draw with. And I need that closing bracket. So again, make sure you have the three closing brackets here. You should have a closing bracket for your A key up there. It's a, and I get something different, and it can overlap with S. All right, let's do spot. So if key, two equal signs, single quotes, D. So do you get the idea that I'm using keys that are in a cluster? Um, they're next to each other. So when you're making your drawing program, consider that. Think about the keys that you're using. Let me just put in a different shape here. And my last bracket. Okay, so now I have right next to each other on the keyboard, so it makes it really easy to be able to just kind of like intuitively draw with them. All right, these that are gonna be different brushes. But now, in addition to that, I want you to have a key that starts us over. And that should be in a different location, like maybe on the top line. So I'm gonna have if key equals, in single quotes, Q. So I'm using one that's kind of like separate from the rest, open curly bracket, give me a background. So this is how I'm gonna get my restart. So Q, just giving me a background, is going to erase everything. C, S, D, Q, it erased everything. And now I can keep, I can draw, and I have that as my refresh. Addition to your 10 will be to save a frame. So again, I'm gonna come after the last closing bracket for my last if statement. And I'm going to have if key equals, in single quotes, W, open curly bracket, save frame. This is what we did for making our movie files. I'm going to put it in quotes and just a name, whatever you want it to be, that processing will save the, will make a folder with this name and save it, forward slash, four hashtags, and I'm going to have them save it as JPEG, so dot JPG end quotes, close your parenthesis, semicolon, put a closing bracket here. And I do need to save my sketch to be able to save any frames. So I'm just going to do a quick save as here, put it just right on my deck, desktop, call it keys, save. Okay. So I can do something, S I can do something, D I can do something. W, I'm going to save and so show sketch folder and processing made a folder for me called stills and here's my still inside the still of from 
my drawing. Okay, so that's enough for this video. In the next one, I'm going to talk about adding text so that you can have your instructions right there on your drawing program.